Hi friends, welcome to Anna's World today. It's the 35th episode in the history series. So in history, we are going to start another new religion. That religion is Shinto. Sometimes known as also Shintoism. But its official name is just Shinto. So Shinto or Shintoism is a religion that started in Japan. Yes. So it is Japan's indigenous religion and as a native and it is a nature religion that means it is a religion which is based around natural things yes so and also this is the biggest religion in japan the second biggest i mean second largest is buddhism yes so it is polytheistic and revolves around the kami so which are supernatural entities believed to inhabit all things Yes. So one fun fact there's even a kami about here. So its story is so once upon a time in Japan there was a very great hair cutter a barber. So when he died he turned into the kami of guess it hair. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. and also kami has no plural its plural is just kami because in kami is a japanese word and in japanese there is no singular and no plural both are the same <laughs> yes so the link between the kami and the natural world has led to shinto being considered a mystic yes so the kami are worshiped at kami dana household shrines family shrines and public shrines yes there are all, there are shrines everywhere i mean there are one more than 100000 shrines everywhere in japan yes so kamushi is a priest who offers food and drink to a specific kami so many kamis have their i mean many kami have their own temples yes not exactly temples but shrines so other common rituals include the kagura dances the rites of passage and the seasonal festivals yes so religious syncretization made kami worship and buddhism functionally inseparable so first shinto was just a normal religion without any other religions inside it but later in like the 500 AD at that time buddhism was introduced to japan so after many like more than a millennia of coexisting they were like they mixed together in japan while in outside in just but in like china india their buddhism was just normal like buddhism but in japan it turned into a mix of shinto ism and buddhism yes so and also this in separation i mean this mixing between buddhism and shintoism is known as shinbutsu shugo in japan so shinto has no official or specific founder yes so the kojiki and the nihon shoki are regarded as the sacred books of shinto so the overriding belief in shinto is to promote harmony and purity in all aspects of life yes every aspect like at which time you sleep at like what you eat for lunch like those those are all the aspects of life and to promote purity and harmony in those aspects is the overriding belief in shinto yes so next the core values of shinto so the core values of shinto so there are five of these so the first one is purity there must be purity and everything next is makoto which is translated into sincerity so we must i mean sincerity so we must be sincere next harmony with nature yes we must be harmonious with nature and it trees don't try to cut them down they are just innocent things which try to give us our oxygen they and also they try to give us food yes <laughs> next is matsuri which means all the festivals which happen inside shinto next uh, focus on the present yes and the final thing is focus on the present the fifth one so we must focus on the present instead of the 
past or the, the future we must also sometimes focus on the future but we must also mainly focus on the present what we should do next those things yes so there are millions of gods in shintoism or kami so the, to be exact there are more than 8 million kami 8 million 8 million that is a lot of them yes so and also finally shinto means the way of the gods yes and another final thing you may have seen those gate like things in red those are shinto gates yes and they are in front of many shrines yes so that's a fun fact so this is for today about shinto or shintoism bye